Good evening. Good evening. So Kelvin scale. So this Kelvin scale, uh, if you see the measurement on the scale, its lower temperature is zero Kelvin. Lower temperature, how much? Zero Kelvin. So zero Kelvin means which is minus 273 degrees Celsius. Okay. It is called Kelvin scale. Okay, ma'am. Okay, mostly uh, we will mention uh, we will measure temperature in SI unit that is Kelvin. So unit of SI units of temperature is Kelvin. Okay, ma'am. Okay. So in the last class, we have discussed the conversions of Celsius to foreign heat and foreign heat to Celsius. Now conversion of Kelvin to Celsius. So if you want any degree Celsius to convert into Kelvin, what we have to do, we have to add Mama, 273 to convert Celsius into Kelvin. Yes, ma'am. And ma'am, for um, convert thing Celsius into Kelvin we have to yeah minus. which is minus 273 yes so yes, you can substitute based on the value suppose 25 degree Celsius is given okay like example uh let me give you an example if 25 degree Celsius is given then how many Kelvin will be there so for the 25 Kelvin, plus 273 yeah, Celsius is 25 plus 273 that gives you 298. So 25 degrees Celsius is equal to 298 Kelvin. Okay, ma'am. Okay, so three scales we discussed. First is Celsius, next is Fahrenheit, third one is Kelvin scale. Now types of thermometers. Ma'am, clinical thermometer and digital thermometer. Ma'am, clinical thermometer and, and laboratory thermometer. So digital the thermometer, laboratory thermometer and digital thermometer. Digital, okay. Clinical and laboratory also. Yes, only two. Clinical and laboratory. Clinical, mostly uh, it is used by the doctors. Uh, mostly you will find foreign heat, whatever we will use also, right? It will, uh, in measuring of uh, body temperature, we will use a foreign heat thermometer. So, specially adopted by, which is specially adopted, foreign heat thermometer. Used by doctors to record human body temperature isn't it yes ma'am okay next so if you see the readings, the markings are from 95 degrees foreign heat to 110 degrees foreign heat. Yes. Because the temperature of human body, it, does, it never falls below 95. So the readings from, readings are from 95 degrees foreign heat to 110 degree foreign heat in case of clinical thermometers. Okay, ma'am. Okay, so you cannot find below 95 degrees temperature because below 95, like a human body doesn't fall below 95 and human body does not go above 110 as well. So above 110 means it uh, death occurs. Okay. So some clinical thermometers, you can also see centigrade as well. Some clinical... Yeah, Thermometers have centigrade scale. Okay, ma'am. Okay, 
So it is marked between 35 degrees Celsius to 43 degrees Celsius. Okay. Because in case of uh, human, in case, uh, if you consider the normal body temperature in Celsius, then uh, the body below 37 degrees you cannot find. So before using thermometers, what we have to do, we have to wash it thoroughly and then jerk so that mercury flows back into the bulb. Isn't it? Ma'am, and like there is a kink for like uh, the make, uh, like if you take it out and uh, like if mercury goes inside, like there is a kink for the, for help of that. What, what? Ma'am, there is a king pre king present on it, ma'am, because like uh, if we take it out and if we want to see it, like mm -hmm. uh, the mercury flows inside. Uh, for that problem, we have kink in it. Yes, which uh, for only I'm you. Elaborate. So when you jerk only, it will move. Otherwise, yeah, ma'am. Yeah, ma'am, ma'am, because uh, sometimes. Ma ma Ma'am, ma if you don't ma jerk, ma'am, the temperature will... Ma'am, ma laboratory thermometer doesn't have a kink. Ma'am? Hmm. Ma'am, mm -hmm. ma actually, I heard that in clinical thermometers, they are marked from 35 degrees Celsius to 42 degrees Celsius, ma'am. 42? Yeah. 42, but... Uh... Ma'am, and also 94 degrees Fahrenheit to 108 degrees Fahrenheit, ma'am. 94? 94 degrees Fahrenheit to 108 degrees Fahrenheit. So will you find 94 exactly? No, mom, I can find mom. Mom, I, mom, I have a clinical thermometer now. Only mom. Mm -hmm. So in that way, the readings are from? Mom, it starts from 32 and ends at 42 degrees Celsius. And it starts at 94 degrees Fahrenheit and ends at 100 degrees Fahrenheit now. Okay. So, uh, so according to the reference, these are the values. Okay, ma'am. Got it, ma'am. So, before using thermometer, it should be washed with water and jerked. Ma'am, if you don't jerk, ma'am, for example, some person's temperature is 97.2, ma'am. And when you check your own temperature, ma'am, it's going to add your and this person's temperature, ma'am. Yes, without jerking, if you use again, both will be, like, it won't add it. It will show. If his temperature is greater than that, it will adjust to that particular temperature. Both won't be added. Okay, ma'am. So, ma'am, even if you don't have fever, it's going to show us if you have fever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ma'am, due to if you don't jerk in music. Yeah, if you, uh, without jerking, if you keep uh, into a body which is of uh, less temperature, then it will be adjusted automatically. Okay, ma'am. Okay, so if you want, so we have to definitely jerk it. Yeah, ma'am. Ma'am, this actually I learned in the hard way, ma'am. Okay. Ma'am, uh, um, I forgot to jerk it, ma'am. And ma'am, I kept it, um, kept it for seeing if I fever. Ma'am, it should have one or two. That day, by mistake, I skipped school for no reason. Ma'am? Hmm? Ma'am, uh, ma'am, like, uh, when, ma'am, in the types of thermometers, digital, ma'am, why, why, ma'am, uh, will we learn about uh, digital thermometer also? No, only two types. The clinical and... Ma'am, ma now laboratory thermometer. So, this is clinical and now we will going, uh, we are going to learn the laboratory thermometer. Ma'am, from ma'am, in laboratory thermometer only Celsius can be there, ma'am, and it ranges from minus ten degrees to one ten degrees Celsius. Okay. 
So next one is laboratory thermometer. So there are different types of thermometers generally used for these purposes. So maximum, like mostly we will use in case of weather reports. Okay. So maximum, uh, the laboratory thermometer, its range is from minus 10 degrees Celsius to 110 degrees Celsius. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Then what is the difference between laboratory and clinical? So what are the precautions we have to take um, in case of um, laboratory thermometer? So I mean, laboratory thermometer, it don't have kink, kink ma'am. So if, if we, yeah, I'm like, so uh, you have to keep it, always up yeah, down. Ma upside down. Yeah. Ma'am, because, uh, ma'am, like if it, if it is like, uh, ma'am, because of the ma if it laboratory, is laboratory, means the arm and mercury will it, come uh, Like come everything up. are made up of glass, so there is no kink. Uh, we could directly see it. Yeah. Okay, next Bulb should be surrounded from all sides by substance of which temperature is to be measured. Okay, so entire, uh, if I want this particular liquid temperature, so I have to dip uh, entire bulb into this. Okay, okay this is what the precaution we have to take and bulb should not touch the surface of the container. This is another precaution. So let me write precautions. First one, who is the tanning should be should be kept upright, not tilted. Okay, next mm -hmm. bulb should be surrounded by all sides. Yeah, ma'am. Yeah, ma'am. Always wanting to give the accurate reading, ma'am. Surrounded from. All these sides. Yeah, mama, mama, mama. Find the substance of which the temperature is to be measured. Okay. And bulb should not touch the surface of the pendant. Okay, so these are the precautions we will take. Okay, ma'am. So one thing, note we have to uh, note here is clinical in clinical thermometer that is doctor's thermometer foreign heat scale is used in labor in laboratory thermometer celsius scale is used so in both the cases whatever the temperature it is there si unit of temperature is kelvin okay okay ma'am in clinical clinical thermometer is also called as doctor's thermometer Foreign heat scale is used. Okay, next. In laboratory, thermometer, Celsius scale is used. Okay, next. Bulb should not touch the surface of the content. Sorry. Uh, next, uh, another point we can write here is SI unit of, this is the note you can keep. Okay, ma'am, got it. 
SI unit of temperature is Kelvin. So Kelvin is shown by the symbol K. Foreign heat with capital F. Celsius with degree and Celsius C. Foreign heat also at the top we will show degree F. Kelvin it is simply K. Yes ma'am. Okay. Yeah ma'am. Yeah ma'am. So if you see the diagram of thermometer, let me show you. So see here, you can see bulb and a constriction here. Mom, let's call it pink, ma'am. Ma'am, which stop the mercury to from coming back. So you can see the readings after you know, test. And it. this is the capillary tube. In the capillary tube, generally pink is present. So this pink to prevents the mercury column to fall down as soon as the thermometer is yeah, taken from the. Uh, mouth of the patient. Okay. Yeah, ma'am. Ma'am, or else, ma'am, they will not be able to check the tem uh, temperature, ma'am. Yes, king prevents the Pre king prevents fall down of fall down of mercury after taken out of a patient's mouth. Hmm. Fall down of mercury as soon as the thermometer is taken. Out. Taken out, out from the patient's mouth. And ma'am, this kid only, ma'am, ma'am, the jog is at home, we do ma'am, you. Man, this will uh, send the mercury down the king. Ma'am, what? Ma'am, I'm selling ma'am the jerky deal because ma'am they want the mercury to pass through the king. yeah below the room like below the normal temperature. Uh, the mercury has to reach. Till then, we will jerk. Jerk, yes, ma'am. Now we will solve a numerical. So the question here is like at what temperature exactly the foreign heat and Celsius reading are equal and the foreign heat Kelvin readings are equal and Kelvin and Celsius reading are equal. That we will see in each case. So if we are considering temperature at which Celsius and Foreign heat give same reading. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Go. So, how can we do this, students? Um, ma'am, you wait, ma'am. So now we can write a formula here. Tc minus yes. 0 by 100 is equal to Tf minus 32 by 180 is equal to Tk minus 273.15 by 100. 
This is the formula generally used. For Celsius and Fahrenheit, we will use these two. So whatever the conversion, you will use those only. Okay. So in this case, I want to convert here Celsius and Fahrenheit. Okay. So I am taking this two. Now consider this. We need the temperature of Celsius and Fahrenheit, right? So both must be equal. So I am taking X for both. This, if I find this X, I'll get the temperature at where uh, the te uh, Celsius and Fahrenheit are equal, right? I am letting Celsius scale and Fahrenheit scale as X temperature. So 180. That gives you how much students? Ma'am, 18 by 10. Sorry, ma'am. X minus 0 by 10. X minus 32 by 18, ma'am. Yes. So this one 9s are 2 5s are, right? Yeah, ma'am. Then if I do cross multiplication, it becomes 9x is equal to 5x minus 32. Isn't it? Yeah, ma'am. Then ma 9x minus 5x is equal to 32 minus 32. Ma'am, 4 uh, x is equal to minus 32. So 4 x, x is equal to minus 32. X is equal ma'am, x equal to ma'am, uh, ma minus 8 ma'am. Ma'am, minus 32 divided, ma'am, uh, x is equal to minus 32 divided by 4 ma'am. Ma'am, it's minus 8. Ma'am, it's equal to minus 8. Ma'am, minus Minus 32 divided by 4 which is equal to minus 8. Okay, so x we are getting it as minus 8. So at 40 degrees Celsius, okay, at how much? At 40 degrees, whether it is Celsius or Fahrenheit. So at 40 degrees, both, how much 40? Minus 40. Reading of Celsius and foreign heat coincides. Okay. Okay, ma'am. So we can prove by this one or the earlier one which we discussed. Did you remember the formula of earlier one? Conversion of uh, Celsius and foreign heat? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Now, shall I tell you how for 40 degrees? Will you able to remember or shall I tell how to do? Ma'am, I'll do it. Check it how much you are getting. Doing? Yes, ma'am. So, uh, TC and TF are equal. So, previous one we did. So, let us do again. Why we are not getting what? X minus 0 by 100 is equal to X minus 32 by 180. So, it will be 180x is equal to 100x minus 3200. 
see students we did earlier same method x minus 0 by 100 is equal to x minus 32 by 180 so 2 pi is a 2 9 is a so that gives you 9x is equal to 5x minus 32 into 5 how much how much 160 so 9x minus 5x is equal to minus 160 4x is equal to minus 160 x is equal to minus 160 by 4 which is my minus 40 degrees yeah ma'am understood earlier i think we missed something we got the different now can we check where um, foreign heat and kelvin becomes equal so for foreign heat kelvin what we have to take students these two we have to take right Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma so by taking this two, let us see. Let again foreign heat as x minus 32 by 180 is equal to x minus 273.15 by 100. So yeah, again, 9s are 5s are 5x minus 160, right? 5 into 32 is 160 is equal to 9x minus how much 273 into 15 into 9? How much students? 9 your voice is breaking. Hello, how, how much? Mama just comes, stops, and then after some time it comes back, ma'am. Now is it fine? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So 273.15, you know cross multiplication, right? Or should I tell? Ma'am, we know cross multiplication, ma'am. Okay. Tell me. 9x minus 9. How much? Ma'am, minus 273.15. How much students? You know cross multiplication or else should I explain? So we are left with x minus 32 by 9 is equal to x minus 273.15 by 5, right? Yes, ma'am. Now cross multiplication here, five mm -hmm. multiplies with x minus 32, whereas nine multiplies with x minus 273.15, isn't it? Yes, sir. This is multiplied by this one, this is multiplied by this one. So now multiply five into x is five x, minus five into 32 is 160. Then this becomes nine x minus nine into 273.15, we have to multiply this particular number with the two ones. Yes, ma'am. How much it is? 9 into 273.15. Ma'am, I'm to do the calculation. Do it and tell me. It's multiplication. Do it. You have to tell me at what temperature foreign heat and Kelvin are being equal. Oh, 45. Um, Ma'am, I got the answer as 2 lakhs 45,835. Oh, it's not 2 lakhs. 2,458. Point yes, some point that was two four five eight point three five. Then bring x terms to one side and now normal terms to other side. Five x keep here. Then if plus nine x comes here, it becomes minus nine x. And already here two four twenty four fifty eight point three five is there. Bring minus one sixty to this side that becomes plus one sixty. Yes, ma'am. 
So that Not gives you 5x minus 4x is minus 4x is equal to Tell me this minus, we are getting 2298.35. Where minus and minus cancels and x is equal to 2298.35 divided by 4. So that gives you how much? Um, 57, um, 4.58. Okay, ma'am. So it means 580 is there. So what can I write? I can write six instead, right? More than, so rounding to 574.6. So it means Kelvin and foreign H shows same reading at how much Celsius, how much degrees? 74.6 degrees. Yes, Whereas Celsius and Fahrenheit, those are showing same temperature at minus 40. Kelvin and Fahrenheit at 574.6. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Now we will see one more scale Celsius and Kelvin. So for Celsius, Pc minus 0 by 100 is equal to Tk minus 273.15 by 100. This we know. Now tell me 100, 100 cancels, right? Yeah, ma'am. So let it as x, x is equal to How can we do? This is getting cancelled. If this is getting cancelled, we are left with x is equal to x minus 273. So from this, we can tell that Kelvin and Celsius never coincide. Okay. We have to remember only two, two values. One is Kelvin and foreign heat, which is minus 40. Other is foreign heat and Kelvin, which is 574.6. Nothing. So take one question and do it, students. Convert 5 degree Celsius to degree foreign heat as well as Kelvin. Ma'am, what, ma'am? Convert 5 degree Celsius to how many foreign heat and how many Kelvin? Tell me whatever the formulas I gave degree, now. Use it. 5 degree Celsius is uh, to 828 uh, Kelvin, ma'am. 828 do properly. Ma'am, 5 degrees Celsius so is Kelvin equal to is 41 always degrees equal Fahrenheit, ma'am, and uh, 278, uh, 278 ma degrees Kelvin, ma'am. Kelvin, ma'am. Yeah. yeah. So, so, Kelvin is equal to Celsius plus 273. We yeah, need Kelvin. Celsius is given. Ma'am, so, so we'll get, uh, ma'am, 5 degrees, ma'am, 5 degrees Celsius plus 273 is equal to 278, ma'am. Kelvin. So, we got Kelvin. Ma'am, 41 degrees Fahrenheit. So you're doing or simply Googling it? No, ma'am. Okay, so what formula you use to convert Celsius to foreign heat? C by 5 is equal to F, F minus 32 by 9. F minus 32 by 9. So C is given as 5. So 5 by 5 is equal to F minus 32 by 9. Both gets cancelled and here we are left with 1. So 1 is equal to F minus 32 by 9. Okay. Right. Yeah. Ma'am, no. I did C into 9 to 5 plus 32. Then also we get the same. Yeah, what? C into 9 to 5 plus 32. Yeah, both are same. So we can do in any way. So C F becomes 41 degrees for any F. Clear? Yes, ma'am. Now, that's what. So, what is the role of temperature in transfer of heat energy, students? Um, it shifts from heat object to cold. Yes. Yeah. So, temperature always flows from 
higher like heat always sorry heat always flows from a body of higher temperature to a body of lower temperature till the temperature equalize right so does temperature what temperature explains us temperature explains the direction of flow of heat energy right yes ma'am so heat flows from a cold body of higher temperature body to um lower temperature body ma'am and it happens until the temperature is equalized yeah. lower temperature ma'am hmm ma'am body hmm ma'am ma'am for now can we have a quiz ma'am yes so lower temperature body which determines direction so temperature determines direction of flow okay clear ma'am clear 